Hi guys, it's Hannah from Chow Hound, and today I wanted to introduce to you a super simple and delicious recipe for Korean style potato pancakes called Kam Ja Chun. Uh, Koreans love to pan fry all sorts of things and enjoy them on rainy days, of which we're having a lot here in New York. And I thought it'd be a nice way to feature the humble potato. Most people have a couple potatoes, um, a little bit of onion rolling around in their produce drawer. So let's get started. First, you want to start by peeling your potatoes. I'm just starting with two here, two potatoes like this. Should be enough for one person or two as a little appetizer. This is my favorite peeler, by the way. It's by Kuhn Raikon. I know a lot of chefs like it as well, but it's inexpensive, sharp, and just super effective. Highly recommend. I'm gonna cut the potatoes roughly into quarters. They like to stick, so be careful. Put an onion, you're just gonna use, let's say, half an onion, a quarter, whatever you, if you like more onion, Use up to half. So it's as simple as um, dropping everything into a blender like this one. You can certainly just use a box grater. Um, which I've done before, but this is so much faster. We're going to um, strain everything afterwards to remove liquid. So uh, you can add just a little bit of water to cover the blades just so um, you're not worrying around without any action. And I would just pulse. Do that for another handful of times. I would scrape down just to make sure you're getting everything in and around the blades. If you have a cheesecloth or a clean uh, kitchen towel, that's even better, but frankly, um, this is just as easy and I don't mind a little bit of liquid just to keep everything together. actually um, season the potatoes at this stage. Um, as you know, potatoes love salt. Um, they can take quite a lot. I think it helps with both seasoning and drying out that extra um, excess moisture. So just add a little salt and mix and let it hang out for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes or so and I just wanted to show you um, how the straining process has been going. Um, obviously we added a bit of water to the blender to help the blades get going, but just wanna give the potatoes another good press. And there's going to be a thin layer of potato starch uh, beneath this layer of water. And I wanted to show you guys that. Sorry, it's a bit dark. It's, um, as I mentioned, it's been gray and gloomy here in New York. So I just poured off all of the water, just so I could show you, there's going to be this uh, layer of potato starch, and you're gonna wanna keep that, because that will act as uh, a binding agent for your kam ja chan, or potato pancakes. Just take your potato mixture. 
mixture. There might be a couple of wayward chunks. Mix it into the potato starch. We're gonna season it again because like I said, potatoes love salt. So grab your favorite non-stick skillet and I like to set up a little uh, station just to the left, um, a little cooling rack over a tray just so that any excess oil can drip off. That's definitely optional. I'll go to uh, medium high heat. Just a note on the um, on our little batter here. Um, I think it's big enough for t like two medium sized pancakes and maybe four to six small ones. We're gonna make uh, small guys today, so we'll see how much these yield. Now we have a special guest to taste it, my little daughter. Do you want to try some? Yeah. Come. It's great. Mmm, it doesn't need the dipping sauce. Yeah. If you have a couple of potatoes lying around, this is a great way to use them up. It's just great on its own, with or without a dipping sauce. Uh, it's also good with a little fried egg on top. Uh, I hope you guys like it.